Good morning, everybody. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Oh my gosh, you know, forget the Oscars. We've got Cirque du Soleil in our studio today. How cool is that? I am so excited. You know, I have not been able to see. This has been like one on my bucket list to see Cirque du Soleil. Yes, and yes. I'm so excited. They're here in New Mexico and they're going to be here for the next few days. So exciting. I've seen two Cirque du Soleil, but we, you and I were both saying we really both want to see the Love Show. Love Beatles. We want to see that. There's, Michael there's Jackson. so many. But now we get a chance to see Dwelly on. So, uh, so yeah. exciting. And of course, we'll be talking in just moments. So you really don't want to turn the channel today. Mm -hmm. You get to see it right here. Now, another thing that's fun to watch of course is dancing on TV you know we talk so much about these great reality shows and watching all this talent well this season 14 cast of Dancing with the Stars was announced this morning and it's an interesting mix of celebrities I mean we we've got the inside scoop we'll be right. one of the first people to tell you who it is here's the list of who we hitting the dance for this season actor and singer Jack Wagner <gasps> I love him actress Melissa Gilbert Little House on the Prairie uh, NFL pro Donald Driver actor Jaleel White Tella Novella, actor William Levy. Oh, he's hot. He's going to be the eye candy. TV personality <laughs> Sherry Shepard. What I'm going to say right now is, wait, <laughs> who are those people? <laughs> I don't know any of them. Okay, I'll get, I'll get back to that in a moment. In the meantime, I'll tell you the rest. Okay, you know little Urkel? You remember Steve Urkel? Uh -huh. Oh, Laura, oh, I love, remember him? Family right. Matters, he's in. Okay. okay, Catherine Jenkins, okay, she's an opera singer. Now, I love Gavin DeGraw. He sings, I don't want to be right, anything okay. other than what I've been. All right, M Martina Naratilova, of course, we all know her. Don't? No. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, we'll talk about this in a moment. <laughs> TV host Maria Menounos. She's extra, um, you know, she's on extra. She's beautiful. Singing legend Gladys Knight. You know Gladys Knight. Yes, I do know Gladys Knight. He's leaving. Okay, and Rashawn Fagan. Now, I don't oh, know him guys. very well. He's a Disney star, <laughs> but the Disney stars seem to do very, very well. Right. Now, Melissa Gilbert, Laura Ingalls, Little House on the Prairie. Okay. Jack Wagner was Frisco Jones back on General Hospital in the old days. Then he you was. You know all these people. I don't know. You know, I, I just think they get so kind of down on the celebrities <laughs> that you know, know. they're average person who doesn't keep up. Because you're TV like, addict. you know all this stuff. It's a I problem. I don't know who these people are anymore. I know. Well, you know, it's not that exciting, <laughs> but you'll know who they are once right. they start dancing. Okay, Urkel. Uh, I'll tune in for Urkel. You know Urkel. I'll you, tune in for Urkel. This should be interesting. <laughs> and of course, we want to remind everybody that Dancing with the Stars actually returns Monday, March 19th at 8 p.m. And that's on ABC. You know, we like to talk about mm -hmm. our shows. But I can't leave out the fact that it's still right. big news and uh, should be an interesting season, as it always is. You know, it's always a very eclectic mm -hmm. group at the beginning, and everybody's like, who are these people? But then we're like, oh, yeah, that's this one, right. you know? So we'll see. Athletes usually do really well. So I think Martina Naratilova might do very well. In the meantime, <laughs> somebody that does very well at reading the news is Miss Elizabeth Alvarez, KRQ News 13 anchor. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Intro, my goodness. I'm going to have to DVR, by the way, my... Uh, I'm going to have to DVR this Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Kristen, all I have to tell you is Google search William Levy. Oh, okay. Right, Do Elizabeth? After the show. Is yeah. he not just gorgeous? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. I'll see oh, you trust us. Trust us. <laughs> Too All right, so let's get to your news headlines this morning. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, we've actually been following breaking news on a tragic school shooting from yesterday at a high school near Cleveland, Ohio. A second victim has now died. Three others are still injured. One actually right now is clinging to life. CBS's Manuel Gallegas reports. I'll help you. Hundreds of students and residents of Chardon, Ohio, gathered in the town square for a candlelight vigil for the victims of Monday's shooting. This day is the day of heartbreak. It was 7.40 in the morning. Nate Mueller was sitting with friends at a cafeteria table in Chardon's high school. That's when the teenage gunman approached. He pulled one shot that all made us look, and then I watched him fire another one. Mueller says the gunman, TJ Lane, never said a word. He was just dead silent the entire time. Uh, didn't say anything before or during. When it was over, five students were shot. Mueller himself was grazed by a bullet that nicked his ear. It's unimaginable. I mean, you don't. You don't think of it happening to you. Lane was arrested about a half mile away from the school near his car. Authorities say he was carrying a 22 caliber semi-automatic pistol and ammunition. He actually turned himself in to a couple um, innocent bystanders just, just north of the, the city here in, in uh, Chardon Township. Sources tell CBS News Lane told authorities he was being bullied by some of those who were shot and the shooting was in retaliation. School officials say they want to give students, faculty, and parents time to process what happened. I hope every parent 
If you haven't hugged or kissed your kid in the last couple days, you take that time. Authorities say Lane is cooperating. Manuel Gallegos, CBS News, Chardon, Ohio. Closer to home, a Belen man is looking for something very important this morning. His mother's ashes were stolen along with his car. Joel Owen's car was stolen out of his driveway last month. Inside were his mother's ashes. Yesterday, he got a call that his car was found in Albuquerque, but his mother's remains were not in the car. Owen's hopes that the person who knows where they are will come forward. Find it in your heart to find a way to tell us where the, the remains are at. I mean, geez, have some decency. Yeah, I already bought another vehicle. Now, he says he doesn't care if the tipster wants to remain anonymous. He just wants his mother's ashes back. Redflex, the company that used to run the red light cameras in Albuquerque, says the city owes them four and a half million bucks. Earlier this month, the company sent the city a letter demanding the cash. It says the $4 million the city owes them is part of the $13 million from parking tickets that people haven't paid in the last four years. Council is asking us to look at what their options are on how to proceed to deal with that, with that claim and also to make sure that we collect the past due fines. Now, the city says it is going to fight that bill, saying it is just not realistic to expect everyone to all of a sudden pay those tickets that are past due. A long-delayed redevelopment project of Albuquerque's Wind Rock Mall may finally start soon. Listen to this. Dave & Buster's, BJ's Restaurant, and Mongolian Grill are all expected to open by this time next year on the Wind Rock Mall property. Developer Gary Goodman of Goodman Realty says construction should start in two to three months. It's up to, or they plan to hire up to 2,000 workers for this massive construction project. Construction on a 16-screen IMAX theater at Winrock also is expected to start this summer. All right, listen up if you drive a Nissan. Nissan is recalling 79,000 Nissan and Infiniti vehicles over possible gas tank fires. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says fuel pressure sensors on vehicles may not be tight enough. They say the gasoline could leak and cause a fire. The recalled models include the Nissan Juke crossovers and the Infiniti QX large SUVs. Also, the 2011 and 2012 Infiniti M sedans. And another recall to tell you about, Goodyear is voluntarily recalling about 40,000 tires. The move includes six sizes of Wrangler Silent Armor tires that were sold back in 2009. Goodyear is concerned that the tread could actually separate from the tire and cause accidents under severe conditions. You should know, though, that the company says it will replace the recalled tires. And that wraps it up for your Tuesday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt Morrow, Kristen Van Dyke, and me every weekday morning on KRQE News 13, beginning at 4.30 a.m. Ladies, going to send it back to you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And, you know, it's not just reality TV that we like mm -hmm. to talk about. There was another show back in the day. Oh, that one we of my loved. favorites. Our fave, yeah. Sex and the City. And the Sex and the City prequel, listen to this, has found its Carrie Bradshaw, and her name is Anna Sophia Robb. Now, she's best known for being the gum-chewing brat, Violet Beauregard, you may remember from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. The 2005 version, of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this is really cool. So the show is going to be called The Carrie Diaries, mm -hmm. which will air on the CW. It'll focus on a young Carrie as she comes of age in the 1980s, Aww. asking her first questions about love, sex, friendship, and family while exploring the worlds of high school in Manhattan and kind of getting into her fashion groove. Yeah. It's cool. I'm excited. Okay, here's the thing. Like we were right. just talking about, I'm really excited about it because we're such big fans of the show. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it, and mm -hmm. I think it will capture a new audience. But there will be so much comparison going on in the beginning like does she look like Sarah Jessica is she right. you know that will be happening a lot I'm sure and I'm sure there's a lot of pressure on her too but I was just thinking about it you know 90210 they yeah. redid it and yeah. a lot of people who tuned into the old 90210 tuned into the new one but now the new one's kind of gained its new audience yeah and it's become a show of its own so I have a feeling that's what will happen and she has done great she was in Soul Surfer I don't know if you saw that I didn't see that it was based on a true story um, was that the one with Carrie Underwood yes yes okay that one. and so she she did a really good job in that and I think 
I think she'll do well. I'm excited to see it. We'll definitely keep you guys posted on that show, and, and it'll, it'll be fun to see how it all began, right. how Carrie Bradshaw became uh, what she did. I, I love her. Now, it's uh, unfortunately uh, the end of the line for someone else, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> James Spader mm -hmm. taking early retirement from the office after just one season. Now, Spader played CEO Robert yes. California, who replaced outgoing manager Michael Scott, played by Steve Carell. Yeah, the current season in the office has been marked by dwindling ratings, but producers say that is not the reason for Spader's departure. They say he only planned to stick around for a year anyway. So okay, so that no was surprise. in the original plans. It's not like all of a sudden he just took off. Right. Okay, so that's good. So we wish him well. We love James Spader. I know. He's a really good actor. I, I feel like it's kind of going without Steve Carell. It's just kind of going downhill a little bit. I think that was a big that. fear for them, and it's mm -hmm. looking, looking like it could be happening. In the meantime, a show that's continually on the rise because... It's my favorite. <laughs> In the top 13 guys take center stage on ooh, the American Idol live performance show. First live performance show tonight to capture America's heart and America's vote. Of course. And here's more coming up with Fox's Adam Housley. With American Idol's Hollywood Week in the books, it's now your turn to weigh in. The 13 guys go first, hoping to win America's vote as they sing live for the right to move on. Welcome to the top 24, baby. Just the sheer level of of how uh, worldwide and you know nationwide this this show is is gonna. It's really gonna take a toll on me. I think to be in front of that audience. For me, it's not about convincing America, it's about convincing myself, you know, you have to, you have to be it, you know, no, yes. no doubt about it, you just have to, whoosh, and then if they take it, they take it, but you know, if they're not going to take it, if you don't give it. New York, stay to my Besides singing in front of millions and the pressure to give a flawless performance, there's always that pesky problem of picking the right song. I think there's so many variables you can't control that you have to focus on the few that you can. So like, yeah, you got your song choice, here's what I'm going to sing, you know, and then it's like, how am I going to interpret the song? I'm really nervous, but, um, you know, I'm going to pick the right song, and um, God willing, and um, I'm going to, you know, I just want to connect with them. I want the American public to feel every time that I sing to them, every word that I sing to them, I want them to just take it and, and, and feel, I don't know, a sense of love and happiness and I just hope you like me just like me please like me some finalists say they're happy the judges are now joined by a live studio audience crowds are so much more easier to, to perform in front of instead of just three people staring you down I love being in front of people like big crowds like that's what I love to do and I'm so pumped because three superstars like like 20 feet away from you is like so much worse. And if you have a catchy nickname, that can't hurt. So they asked me why I should be the next American Idol. And you know, it's, it's always that question that everybody hates to answer because you won't want to feel like a jerk. But I said, it's time for some white chocolate to win up in here. So, <laughs> so needless to say, that night white chocolate trended on Twitter and that's a, my hometown is exploding with team white chocolate. And I watched you walk away. In Hollywood, Adam Housley, Fox News. Jayla always says she gets the goosies when she likes the way they sing. There are uh -huh. so many good singers tonight. Really, seriously, check it out. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, trust me, there are some great entertainment. It's worth staying up a little late, huh? Absolutely. Right, and I'll vote. Check it out. Okay.